the Crowborough Movie Makers Club, who met over the top of the Rosen Crown pub in Whitehill Road in Crowborough, a place which is now a block of flats, from the late 1960s through to, well, for about 10 years. The chairman was the publican of the Rosen Crown, who's Ken Frost. If you look at the photograph, going from uh, left to right in the back row was Ken Frost, then Peter MacDonald, Joe Parker, Guy Welfare, Doug, couldn't remember his, his other name, then Alan Shannon. On the lower row, left Wally Salkeld, on the right Dave Barton, and uh, in the front centre is some young fella, I can't even remember looking like that, but I must have done. We were sitting on chairs that came from the Regent Cinema, which is now the Lloyd's building in the High Street. The projector wouldn't normally be in the position it is, because there was a room behind this uh, with a hole through the wall. The films were projected through this hole onto a screen in front of the chairs, so it was more like a proper cinema, had the proper atmosphere. Because one of the members of Crowborough Movie Makers was a fellow called Charlie Macy, who was the golf professional at the Beacon Golf Club at the time, this roll of film, probably about the second I ever took, had a golfing theme to it. As a historical document, it has shots in the background of the VFM garage, where Waitrose now stands, and the original Fernbank house. The very first film I took featured the Goldsmith Recreation Ground and the sort of facilities we had before it was redeveloped. I also shot some scenes of the Millbrook Estate when it was being built. This must have been around about 1970. Phase 2, the first phase up at Erish Road, had already been built. When we had a snowstorm in the early 70s, I went out with my camera, and certain buildings were still around, such as the Clockhouse Dairy and Fernbank, but most of it looks pretty much as it does today. The only difference is, of course, the cars.
In the 1970s, the fire station had an open day when they had a hydraulic lift. So I took the opportunity to catch a ride on this thing and took my camera with me. The view from the top was quite magnificent and I took a photograph of various buildings. But the most interesting is the old Caffin site before it was 